hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is Ida Tuesday daily thanks for always stopping back to watch my videos i actually didn't plan to make this video i'm on my break time from work um, on my one hour break and something actually happened at work and um i just felt to use the opportunity to share coincidentally i was watching a video about one nigerian youtuber what's her name Nenye Eze. yeah she made a video about the topic was like nigerians are wicked like that was the topic i was like uh-uh kilo the all of us were not all that bad now so i watched it and it was she clarified like yeah it's not everybody everybody cannot be the same everybody cannot be wicked but just majority based on her experience and all that i was just like even my husband was watching we just laughed about it i did not know how come i meet my own today i don't know why we are like this i don't know why we nigerians are like this you know so i won't really share what happened but the long and short of it is that we nigerians majority of us don't have each other's back we don't have each other's back we don't care about each other we don't we don't look to improve the next nigerian we don't try to look out for them you know i'm saying we because i'm a nigerian so i'm i'm i'm, I'm not saying i am 100 percent perfect but i know that i go out of my way sometimes to help people to to you know to settle down well to advise them you know wherever i see you guys i try to like the least i could do is wave smile even though i've received some some agbele some yawa according to the um, house some ella you understand but i still try to continue even i just feel it's not everybody that can be bad sometimes you see a nigerian coming you you just have it in your mind ah you're going to say hi but the way the person will just turn his face you won't even be able to say hi or sometimes you say hi person will not answer there was even a lady that i met she she has been in this she has been in this place for like 14 years so she said she has stopped talking to nigeria and she see a new face in the vicinity in the area and she knows persons that are JJs. she's not going to talk to them if they come to her she'll go all out to help i was like why now waiting happened she said there was an instant that happened it's been happening but she just used to take it the way me used to take it but this particular one was the one that broke the camel's back like she, she saw a new set of a new face and she walked up to them in front of superstore she walked up to the to them to the lady hi like the woman just turned and was like hi she said i ah, know i just saw you and before she even finished she said, do you need help like do you need something do you need help she was like no i don't need help i just saw you and i i know yes you're a new person this is a this community where it's a very small community we tend to know each other i see your face and i see that you, you came to buy a lot of things what you're buying is for like somebody that seems to settle down i'm just going to come and say hi to you i don't need anything i've been in this country for like 12 years i just oh thank you very much how are you doing i just said fine she just walked away and she was like no this niceness that's it's too much if if a jjc if a newcomer comes to her for help she will help you to the last but she will not walk up to you because you are not paying my bills in this country you are not it's just because we all came from nigeria so wherever we see ourselves that's instinct we just say ah this is my person even if it's not in nigeria if you see a black person you know i have i have <laughs> i have also received my own my own ella i this one was not even in nigeria and she's from let me not name because i don't know who is watching this video i don't know if she's watching but she's not a nigerian someone referred her to me someone referred her to me and she went to the place she was supposed to meet me i was not around so coincidentally as she was leaving i was coming i mean i didn't even know so i just saw her and i'm like like ready to say hi and by the time we got to, close to each other like this she just was like she just turned i'm like this she just turned her face and walked away I cannot now go and turn your face to her and say hi. You've shown me that no, this why are you smiling at me? She just turned her face. And 
she now got to know that I was the person she went to look for. So it's even like stupid. Like you're coming out of the place you're supposed to meet a fellow Niger a fellow black girl. And you're coming out of that place and you see a black girl walking in, your stupid sense will not tell you that this could be the person who and you just turn your face like you know. So subsequently, after some weeks, she still had to come meet me and I still had to help her, you know. But just because of I'm nice, I did not hold that against her. I just was like, I just moved on, you know. That one is, this is a, just like a diversion. So, a lot of people have received shocking behaviors from fellow Nigerians, fellow Africans, you know. It's bad. We're in a new country. We're in a country that we're like the minority. The least you could do is to smile at your fellow person. It won't cost you anything. Whatever issues you have on your head, maybe it's even you have plenty base on your head, plenty depth on your head that you've incurred that you're thinking about. But we don't care. Just be nice. The Canadians we meet here are so nice. They smile at you like the way they are so nice to us. I can remember my husband asking me when we just came, like, why are these people nice? Like, why are they smiling? Why are they so nice? You know, it was a shock. Imagine you're coming from your country and you're shocked that people are nice to you. We're not used to it. If somebody is being nice to you, you you hold your guard. You you start holding your things like this person. What do you want? Like you know. So that's a diversion. So it happened at work. What happened? The action that fellow Nigerian made or what she what she did was a kind of making the other nationalities there present in that place to know that we are not one no i don't know i don't want to relate with her i don't want to relate with my fellow person i need another option you know so it made me to make this video like nigerians please please if you're if you're nigerian watching this if you're from africa watching this video please if you see your fellow person in this country nobody is coming to beg you for money by the grace of god everybody is fine just be nice if the person comes to you for advice for help help the person even if the person does not walk up to you and you see that this person is doing something wrong you can call up the person like excuse me it's like it's like you're lost it's like it's like you need help it's like you know it don't cost you anything also please if you are in the midst of other people other countries don't bring down your country don't, not even your people not even your person now don't bring down your country we know where we're all coming from all the people most of the people that left their countries to this place they know what they're running away from we also run away from something but it is not from your mouth that they will hear it. let them go and hear it from somewhere else be patriotic to your country no matter what if you want to bring down your country we can do it within ourselves we within within ourselves we go yab ourselves we go insult ourselves we go talk talk about the politics talk about the corruption talk about everything but not with other people yes all over the media is everywhere but you owe it to your country i don't know if you are getting me like we yeah we've all run away because we're not happy with what is happening but it doesn't mean you should now kukuma bring down your country if you cannot say anything next please just keep quiet you know just keep quiet don't bring your fellow man down don't deliberately like put your fellow person in trouble i confided in another fellow nigerian about this same issue that happened and he was like ah <laughs> Oh, is this just happening to you? It's a normal thing, no? Don't. It's not a personal thing, no? Don't take it like it's you. It's not you. It is our thing. That is our thing. Me, I've been in this country for a long time. It's like you, you don't know. You understand, but don't take it personal. No? I was like, no, but it's bad. You know? It's just unfortunate I can't share what happened, confidentiality and all that. But I just want you guys to know that. Your fellow black man does not have your back. So, try by all means to guard it. I had to do damage control. I was, I, I had to do damage control on this issue that happened, you know. Because it's, 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 
if I didn't do damage control, I know what the impact would be later in future. I know what it would be. And to think that it came from my fellow person, my fellow Ninja person, you know. Please, let's always have our back. Let's always help each other. Don't see yourselves as competitors that you, uh, you, you are, this person just came in. This person is less than one year. And this person has bought a car. He has bought a car for his wife. They've they've bought their house. They've done down payment. They've moved to the house. Oh, we didn't want you waiting at home. Natural right beef will just enter. Why? Everybody's race is different. Even twins said that they gave birth to the same day. Their progress in life is different. If you are all friends who graduated the same time in university, don't think all of you will progress the same time. Some people will not get jobs. Some people will get very good jobs from their first year of graduation it's just life it's not everybody that will give birth to children some people will not give birth some people will give birth later some people will never even give birth in their lifetime everybody's time is different don't start competing or start beefing people unnecessarily if a newcomer comes into the country and within six months they, they buy their house and they move and you that you've been here for five years you've not been able to move to your own house it's priorities your priority may be different from their own. Their own priority from Nigeria would be like, see, we are not going to pay more than six months rent. We are, not, we are not going to pay rent more than one year in this country. We are moving to our house. You don't know what they came from Nigeria with. Some people came with Nigeria with their complete proof of fund. Some people did not come with it. Some people's proof of fund is, is... Let's not even go there. What I'm trying to say is that everybody's race is different. If you want to compete, you put yourself in trouble, you put yourself in debt. There's no pressure. Celebrate with somebody else that has achieved so that your own self will come. Be happy that people in your neighborhood, people within your class, people within your friends are progressing because it means God is in that your neighborhood. If your own has not come, don't put yourself under pressure. Nobody's going to directly come and meet you and say, ah, you don't come to this country, how can you never buy it? Somebody comes to confront you like that, give it to that person. If you can insult that person, insult that person. Like, why? What is your purpose of business? Even if I come to this country and I didn't buy a car, is it your headache? Did I come to disturb you? Did I come to borrow money from you? Or did I come and say, come and carry me to work? Have I ever come to you to feed me or something? No. So why should you be asking me that question? It's really bad. I know that people like that too. There are people like that that their mouth is very long. That they they will always come and ask you annoying questions. That now wow. It, there's nothing you won't do in this world that you can please anybody. I hope you guys know that. If you come, I remember as we just came. The first car we bought was just like normal car, like car that will carry us from point A to point B. You understand? And somebody has the mouth to come and say, ah, uh -uh, now this kind can not buy. Simply because the car they bought was like a recent model. And I'm like, so? Does it matter? I say, I know, I'm just saying it so that, you know, when you buy a car, you should be thinking of the second-hand value, like when you want to sell it. I'm like, that's supposed to be our business, I beg. If you will carry your whole money, go buy so so and so car then me when buy this car it shouldn't be a problem it's my priority and I'm, I'm not i've never come to meet you to come and help me or anything you know so people are like that some people don't know their limit they don't know where to keep and where to talk you know so don't compete with people don't don't beef people when you see your fellow nigerian or your fellow person is progressing and you are not that's really like in case of job you've been in this country for like three years You've not gotten the dream job you want. And somebody just came in within four months and got that kind of job you want. It is different. Everybody's destiny is different. When your own time reaches, it, it will come. That person's time has reached. That's why the person got it. Also, this issue of helping people. Like, I heard of a case of... <laughs> this is happening in this, in this country. I had a case of somebody that a newcomer came and then the person that was like supposed to be like their their support, like their family that they met, you know, they're not really related. The person now helped them to do refer them to where they should buy things, like 
for the house okay you can go to bricks to buy your furniture you can go to walmart to buy your bed you can go to this you can go to that so the people really spent a lot of money to set up their house so when the person had settled down very well like three four months the person now got to know other cheaper options that they could go and the person that even referred them to the place also did not buy his things from those very expensive places and the person became very angry like you've been in this country for long then what is the reason of me coming to tell you that please come and show me around how where to buy this how to settle in where to buy this where to buy that why you not tell me of all these places you've been in this country you cannot say you do not know the other one is two-sided <laughs> Is it that the person saw you as a big guy or the person not want to embarrass you they're like ah let me not go and show you this place then you feel embarrassed that ah why do you bring me down like that or something you know i cannot really talk on that one but what i'm trying to say if somebody comes in new to the country or is trying to settle down comes to meet you you can say sorry yo because this is exactly what happened to us when we came the person will say ah there is this place so if you want to buy brand new if you want to buy like new expensive is here if you want more moderate price oh if you want moderate is here if you want used one no is here if you want to get free it is here i don't know sorry i don't want to embarrass you let me know <laughs> then it's left for the person to now say no i want to buy brand new okay no i don't have enough money i want to buy this you know i expect that is what you should do but outrightly just carrying the person to go and buy <laughs> the person was mad like i had this gist but i just like kept going because i know the new person and i know the person that carried the person to expensive place so that one i just kept right on that one i'm trying to see let's take ourselves as brothers and sisters she be if you if you take someone as a brother and your sister you open up to the person you want to give the person the best choice don't go and do beefing things like you now put your person in trouble that one is there it happens a lot you guys know what i'm talking about then when it comes to job referrals you will just feel if i cannot get this job oh, you too you will not get it that is witchcraft you will see somebody will get a, a link of a job but because the person will first apply, you know, <laughs> the person will first apply. So if you think no, no, work out, now, the nice one will now share it. So some people will not even share it again. I did not get it, you will not get it because you will feel ah, this person may be able to get this job. They will not tell you. They'll just keep it to themselves. Like they'll hide it. That is not being your brother's keeper. There are other nationalities, there are other people in this country that I know that you are, I know that they help each other they share information within themselves before before that information will even come out to we nigerian self a lot of them would have benefited from that thing before before we will hear it and when you now hear it you think it's a new new it's a new development it has been on for long just that it has been circulating within them by the time we will now hear it we, we, we didn't know that this thing has been on for long and most times when that information now reach our own hand because of our black belly, we we'll go spoil them. We we'll go now spoil them. They go come cancel the thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. I cannot come here and say it. Things happen within click of other people. But when it reach our hand, we we'll go spoil them because of why our black belly. Such things supposed to be coded. It's supposed to. But when it reach our hand because of wickedness, even within ourselves, we can go and even go and spill the bean and see what is happening. Go and report because see. We've left our country and eh? we've left where we're coming from. We're in a new place. Please, can we can we just drop that mentality of not helping each other, of beefing each other, of competing with that person, you know, of just unnecessary malice. If we can do that, it's go a long way for, for us to develop. There's a lot of gossips that go around. You hear somebody will just be monitoring somebody, like monitoring spirits and just be spreading news, spreading bad, bad news up and down. Ah, did you hear that? This? Did you hear that? that? Did you? It's no good. Yeah, it's sweet gist. It's gist. Gossip is like, it used to be sweet sometimes. But please, can you minimize it? Can you minimize the way you spread bad, bad news that, that if, when the person even gets to hear the person will be disappointed if they hear it from you especially if the person even confide in you there are a lot of people like like 
like I was also watching um, this, what is this her name? Asi Darling. Yeah, she's a student in Canada here. That she talked about a couple that they are yet to give birth. And then the lady confided in another lady to tell her this is what they've been facing. This is the problem they've been facing. They've gone to different hospitals and all that and all that. Only for the, pe the person she told to tell a set, a group of people. And then from that set of people, the person did not even know that the main gist is from her. Now came to gist her. The hey. I heard that there's one Nigerian who died. I heard that this is what happened. I heard that this is what happened. I heard that they've not been able to give birth. I heard that the problem is from the husband. I heard that I heard that this it was her gist that person brought back. So the gist went round, 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 round. Then that last person now fell. Ah, let me come and gist this person, not knowing that the origin of the gist is from this person. She was shocked because she knows she only told one person. That is how news is to fly. So please, you will stop confiding in people if 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 i have this mentality down if you cannot keep a problem to yourself you don't want to have that problem if your mouth is scratching you so much that you cannot even keep that personal problem to yourself and you tell somebody don't expect that person to keep that secret for you because that person too have itchy mouth and that person has nothing to lose so you know that you have something to lose and it is your own personal problem and you cannot keep it to your own self and you will not go and tell somebody then if that person spreads the news then don't blame that person i've had this thing somebody has i've forgotten who told me this thing and it has really helped me to be able to keep some things to myself i can be just me to be laughing from morning till night but if i will not tell you that thing that that i don't want if i want to tell you some if i want something to go out that is what you will hear me tell you but if i know i don't want that thing to go out i'll try even though it will be biting me like this not that i don't share my problems though i share my problems something bothering me but if it is that problem that i know that is like a secret to me i'll just keep it to myself and with time you'll be fine hmm? there are a lot of gist that comes to me i will just be sitting down on my table je, 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 je. a gist will just come to me something will just happen to me <laughs> like something happened one time i was at work i was just sitting there man the news just came you know it just came of a nigerian that was messing around somewhere that was that was like you know <laughs> a nigerian man that was messing around somewhere and the news just came to me from some people and with the way they were talking, I just knew that person was because where I'm staying is a small community. You know, the thing just came to me like this gang 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 till this moment. Even now that I'm talking about it, I didn't tell anybody because it is a disastrous news. Because if that person knows that a fellow Nigerian knows, ah, I can't even blackmail you with that thing. I'll be collecting money every month. <laughs> I'll be collecting that person's paycheck just to keep that information. But the thing just came. And it didn't even come from in Nigeria, and it came from other nationalities, and they just said it innocently. It just came to me. So let's even be careful. Let's be careful. Let's try to have each other's back. Like me keeping that information to myself, I'm having that person's back. It's so embarrassing that I cannot even go and walk up to that person and advise the person. It's very, very embarrassing. So have your brother's back. If you see them getting into trouble, please talk to them. And whenever they come to you for help, please help. When you have information, when you have information that you know will benefit somebody else, share it, especially to your Nigerian community. Share it to them. There's nothing wrong. Your own is your own. That you share doesn't mean you will not get your own. You know? They say a closed hand is a closed destiny. That is to say it. I believe so much in it financially and otherwise especially financially when you help people there's no how you you remain broke it brings its own set of blessings it's not as if you give ten dollar you get twenty dollar back no i'm not talking that way but it is not going to even make you broke i'm not saying you should take your get hungry starve yourself food, but help people when especially when some me i'm a kind of person that i don't used to know when to help somebody my husband always says even my mom used to say it I don't have that sense that this person needs help or this person needs this thing but when that person comes to me 
and ask for it. In fact, I'll go all out to help you. I will do extra. I don't used to have that instinct to help. So when somebody now comes to you, don't use it as an opportunity to now mock that person or to now spread it around. I see this person even came to me and was, you know, it's wrong. I also have cases of where you see WhatsApp groups, Nigerian WhatsApp groups, and some Nigerians will refuse to join that WhatsApp group. They'll tell you, no, I don't join WhatsApp group. I don't join anything that has to do with Nigerian police. I'm like, why? What happened? That I don't like that wall. I don't like that stress. Yeah, you have your point. Everybody has his own reason for doing things. But it's I see it has been too extreme. You can be in that group and be quiet. You don't have to say anything. A lot of people are in the group and you benefit from what is going on in that group. But altogether isolating yourself from Nigerians. I don't know what would have happened to you for you to have decided not to join that whatsapp group or something or anything that has to do with nigeria or event self i have people like that that i have met that any nigerian gathering event anything picnic you will not see their shadow there they don't want anything to do with nigerians i'm sure those people nigeria don't don't give them heavy knock for it that they don't want anything to do with them but i think it's extreme you can associate with some nigerians and still Keep your distance and avoid trouble avoid gossip avoid talk talk avoid all these things so i have spent 30 almost 30 minutes on this video i just decided to come pour out my mind to tell you guys like please let's have our back we're all far away from home we're all like strangers in this place so somebody when you see somebody that is your color you should just have that love towards that person you know there's a family in this winkler the second day we landed this country do you know what they did the husband and wife came to our house took us to take took us to um it was not even planned though they just felt you are new you will need these things the husband and wife came with their car picked us took us to superstore took us to walmart took us to dollarama we spent like three hours together they were telling us what to buy because they knew we we're going to shop our house was empty we just had our bags from nigeria they told us this is where you will come to if you want this this is what you will do this is the app you used to be checking the products you want to see the nutritional value this is when you should wash cloth this is when you shouldn't wash cloth to, to conserve electricity bill this is the card you should get for this um for this supermarket superstore they were the one that told us of this points card that you get points to be able to do cash back they put us through and one thing that stood out for me on that day when she was taking us around we saw another nigerian family she had taken it upon herself i hope they've not even scattered her they've not even spoiled her mind and she, i hope she has not stopped because this is like a year ago she was just like oh i'm coming Saturday time i'm coming i'm coming she now woke up to, i even thought she knew them it's like you are new right they say yes yeah, so we are new we just came from I think it's Kenya it's not Nigeria they just came from one African country oh yeah how you put doing when did you land they know like, oh okay you okay she just talked with them for like a few minutes and came back to me she took it upon herself nobody is paying her but she's happy to see other people she's happy to help people she's a very quiet woman no she no get wala but this is what she does she took us round in fact because I know my husband is not the kind of person that likes shopping for long or to be talking, you know, or spending time. I kept telling the husband, I'm sorry, sir, we're taking long. Sorry, we bought things. Our, we, I think we, we took two, we bought two carts of things. Oh, no, no, don't worry, oh, don't worry. That, take your time. Whenever you're ready, we'll go. In fact, it was even the one that we'll go and pick something. Are you sure people will not need this? You will need this thing. Oh. We will say, no, don't worry, you're going to return it. He was so nice. He welcomed us. Some people cannot do that. I know it's not easy, everybody is busy and all that But if you have an opportunity to help somebody Please help the person We should take an example from the people We came to meet in this country These people are extra nice, these people are super nice I can remember when we just came I think the second day We bought our children's bed From a family I think the children had grown I think she bought a new Set of bed for them And that one was still very new We saw it on marketplace 
So when she came to deliver it with her husband with that truck, they came to deliver the truck. They and they wanted to come and help us um, arrange it because it's a double bunk. When she opened the door and she saw her house was empty, she was like, "Are you guys are new? Like, why is the house empty? So we just came out new and oh, you're new." She started making calls. She started calling her friends, people in the neighborhood. Ah, what will you need? Ah, the first night, because we slept on the first night, we didn't sleep on mattress, <laughs> you know? I've not said that story. She went all out. By the next day, the third day, she came with different mattresses, different sizes of mattresses, jacket, socks. She just told her friends, do you have anything for these people? Do you have anything for these people? Curtains. She brought them in bags, brought them in bags. Before there was a, another Nigerian family that we housed. We all stayed in that house together. Before they got their own house, got housing is hard to get here. Even those people, they've not even got in house, but they went to their new house with mattresses. So let's learn from these people. Let's learn from them. You see a lot of them putting out things for free or very little amount. You hardly see Nigerians putting. There's no one good they say. Please, let us just be nice. As I said, I have done damage control on this thing that happened, and I know, I know it will still affect me tomorrow. I know, but I want you guys to know that this thing happened for me, fellow Nigerian, knowing fully well the action they have done, they know what the implication is. I don't think they did that knowing that it will not affect me. They didn't just care, they didn't just care, you know. You just gave the impression like this is no, I don't want, I don't want my people to be the one to help me, you know. I want somebody else, you know. It's, it's a very, very wrong action. If we did not know, I don't know if you are going to watch this video. If we did not know, it is wrong. You don't do that to your fellow person. You don't do that. I wish I can say what happened, but I don't want to. It's kind of confidential, but at the same time, I'm telling you to be nice. Also, watch out. Watch your back. Watch your back for your fellow country people watch your back be smart hmm? be smart be smart don't talk too much don't share too much if you don't want an information to go out say keep it to yourself don't trust anybody with any information because whose mouth is scratching them they live they dwell on gossip people are jobless they have a job they are busy but they are still jobless keep things to yourself hmm? be nice watch your back very very important Nobody got your back in this country, but you watching this video, try to be nice. Hmm? Just be nice. It takes nothing from you. All strangers in this country. Hmm? All right. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share your thoughts be below, and you know, yeah. Bye.